Yeah, good afternoon. I'm up here in the mountains of North Carolina checking out a kind of an exciting, fun new product. This is the Dassun Night Vision Binoculars or Goggles. It's the uh, upgraded professional version and the price has come down to uh, under $300, actually close to $200 with some discounts. I remember playing around with night vision goggles years ago and they weren't very good, but uh, they've come a long way. These night vision goggles were provided to me for testing and of course my opinions are my own and the examples that I present speak for themselves. What I like most about these is that they allow you to see very well in total darkness. But really the fit and finish of this is pretty impressive. It's got a nice uh, tripod mount and four rubber feet if you want to put it on a table or a solid surface. It runs on four AA batteries like many trail cameras and they're easy to get in and out but the really cool thing about this first off is it uses a uh, micro SD card and the 32 gigabyte micro SD card is provided in the box which is nice but what was really cool is it comes with a USB cable and it works with a USB uh, power bank like my little anchor uh, USB power bank that I use all the time when I'm hiking or out in the wild uh, that has you know four or five hour uh, run time on it and plug it right in here and even without batteries I've, I've tested this out take, taking all eight of the batteries out it runs fine with just the power bank the other thing that's nice is it has a real long cord on it so I recommend in a lot of cases if you can using this night vision goggles on a tripod with a tripod mount and that's what I did with a lot of my video and the cord is long enough that you can just slip your power bank into your pocket jacket pocket or your pocket and uh, it's got a nice neck cord here solid and strong fits good feels good around your neck you run this uh, and you're you're holding it looking at it and you can you run it right off your power bank so <laughs> you know before I even get into how fun the uh, actual uh, examples are which there'll be a ton of them just to know that you don't have to blow your budget on buying double a batteries left and right with this is a big improvement it has a nice uh, feel to it nice well balanced not too heavy you've got the power on button and you've got the IR intensity up and down buttons here which if you hold them down it will also becomes your zoom in and out button You've got the mode button for switching between photographs, video, and uh, reviewing the uh, uh, your your uh, media. And then you've got your menu button, which I'll go into detail later, and then your shot button. Now what I really like about this is, once you uh, set it up and you start a video, it'll run until it reaches a file of 4 gigabytes, which is about 25 to 30 minutes. It'll finish that file and start another file. So what you can do with this is uh, basically run seven consecutive four gigabyte files on video with your USB power bank, which is uh, over three and a half hours of uh, continuous video that this will take on a USB power bank. And that is really kind of cool if you're setting it up to, you know, as I'll show you some examples, if you want to take a long video of uh, something, some particular place at night, uh, it's sort of like a... Uh, mobile trail camera one that uh, you're looking through a trail camera uh, with it so i've had a lot of fun with it and uh, so let's go over a few other things of course it doesn't record sound it does record uh, video and you can take photographs the focus wheel is down here and i'll show you some examples of that have a little fun with the red scroll this morning a little test subject one of the things i wanted to remember to show you was the focus wheel which is on the bottom of the binoculars on the left side it's fairly sensitive so i'm just showing you how it works here and of course the farther away the subject is the more challenging it's going to be to focus it there's a pretty sharp focus right there i'll go through the menu and the settings in detail but it comes uh, you know right out of the box with the sixth power magnification through the eyepiece so it's already pretty well magnified and that's uh, optical magnification and that's pretty clear and then it can go up to a four power digital zoom with these two buttons here to go up and down and so you can really zoom in pretty good and so when you're looking at something uh, 
handheld, uh, you know, three or four hundred feet away or even more, it becomes a real challenge to hold it steady. That's just human nature. It's just not a limitation of uh, this uh, binocular or goggle. It doesn't have uh, image stabilization. So uh, I use it a lot on a tripod. So it kind of depends. One of the first things that I do when I get something like this is try and see how I can use it to enhance my ability to record wildlife or understand wildlife. The other thing is that the video is full HD 1920 by 1080, but it's also at 30 frames per second, which is kind of important because a lot of cheaper cameras, and even and you see it also in trail cameras, if you're running uh, HD at uh, a low frame rate, it just doesn't look good. It just doesn't look natural. It's too jerky. So we're running at 30 frames per second. So you see in the examples that I have that the video is really nice and lifelike. It's, it's good in the daytime, especially close up. I think, uh, as I said, one of the things that I like about it is you can use it for a quick and easy way to uh, put a time lapse on some area that you're watching like a feeding area or a, a bird area or an area where you know there's going to be a wildlife activity, you can put it on a tripod and let it run for over three hours on a USB battery, battery pack. In addition to coming with a little cleaning cloth and a 32 gigabyte uh, micro uh, SD card, also comes with a nice case, which is important because you know you want it to, you don't want this thing beating around. So it comes with a nice case and a, you know, a fairly complete uh, and well-written user's manual. It has cameras in it which project on a screen, so it's not like a binocular where you're actually looking through the optics out at the uh, features. You're uh, actually, you know, taking a video or a picture and it's projecting it on a screen and you're viewing the screen and then you uh, focus it here. So this is your daytime uh, side and this is the nighttime side. And even at full uh, level seven on the IR, there's just a dull red glow that you can see on this and you can't really see it from any kind of a distance. It's pretty amazing really how it can light up uh, trees and uh, fields and things like that at several hundreds of feet away. This would really be fun to do say at a place like uh, Yellowstone or, well, or like I show in one example in the Great Smoky Mountains where a mother and her two cubs you know to go out there and actually see what's going on at night. It doesn't uh, it's not like spotting wildlife. It's not you're not lighting up and disturbing wildlife. So if you're out in a campground or something like that, and you're looking at the wildlife at night, you're not going to disturb them. So it's uh, pretty cool and a lot of fun to have around the backyard. And uh, as you can see in some of the examples, I immediately figured out ways to use it to uh, get close to birds and squirrels. And uh, what would really be fun is if you had. Uh, you know, an owl nest or uh, something like that at night up in the trees because it really, really can get up in the trees and see what's going on pretty clearly at night. And it has, you know, certainly uh, capable daytime uh, ability, but it's not going to replace, you know, a quality bird watching binocular or something like that. That's not what this is designed for. This is designed for having fun after dark and it's pretty amazing. I had a lot of fun with it. Okay, let's run through the operating controls for the unit. There's three buttons on the left side you run with your left hand and three buttons on the right side which you run with your right hand. It's pretty straightforward. We'll power it up. And I'm shooting a GoPro through the uh, lens hood so the quality will be uh, good enough to give you an idea of how the uh, menu works. We come up here and uh, we've got on the right side you've got your mode button that's photo and that's replay and back to video and when you're looking at uh, animals at night a lot of times you're going to want to take a video so the nice thing about this is the button here on the uh, right side put it down the uh, set button and it starts taking the video then the uh, two forward buttons on the uh, left side, if you hold them down, you get your zoom in and zoom out buttons. Okay, so let's go to the menu here. We have photo resolution, and you press the set button to set that. Video resolution, same thing, real simple. 1920 by 1080 is max resolution. I always leave it at that. Night vision sensitivity. 
Uh, low, medium, and high. Right now I have a medium. You can experiment with that. Burst shooting for taking photographs. This morning I'm going to show you the burst shooting. In case you want to shoot stills. I mean, you don't really expect this, especially in daylight, to be a replacement for a high-end camera, but now we're in the I'm going to put the mode into picture mode and you can see the burst symbol up there a couple of burst pictures and show you what they look like on the computer and that's the burst photograph mode screen brightness I keep that in the middle, you don't want it too bright I actually have a little bright here for using the GoPro Power frequency in case you have some interference or depending on where you're at. Power saving mode. I just have that uh, set at the minimum so it'll hold the, it'll turn the display off. Your date and time is real easy to set with your up and down buttons. And set confirms it. Date stamp if you want to put a date stamp on there. Language. Format. Unit comes with an included disk, so when you first get that, put that in there and format that. Reset all your settings. And then back. That's the menu. It's pretty straightforward. So right now I have it in uh, visible mode, that's why it's dark. So your two uh, up and down buttons on the left side are to turn on your uh, nighttime IR levels so now I'm gonna turn it on to uh, level one and level one of course is when things are close to you and as things get farther and farther away then you go up to levels two, three, four, five and seven the highest level and of course now when you're using level seven it's going to use your maximum battery power because you're using the strongest lights. And then one more click and you're back down to uh, visible. Now we got it back to normal nighttime mode. And the uh, same buttons that you use to uh, turn the IR levels up and down, you hold them down and you can zoom in and zoom out. So I'm holding this down, I'm going to zoom in and hold it down and zoom out you got your mode, picture taking, you want to take a picture you press the set button if you want to review what you've already taken you go to review mode and you use the up and down buttons on the left to pick the uh, image or video that you want to review Push the set button to display it. Click mode again. And let's get back to uh, regular mode. And I really I found the uh, software to be very simple and very robust. And let's shut it down. And <laughs> this is I'm in total darkness here, like in, in real like in real life. So I mean I'm shooting the GoPro through the uh, viewfinder of the uh, night vision binocular. So. The fact that I was holding that and doing this and talking at the same time just shows you how simple it is to use when you're out uh, out at night having a little fun with it. To kind of sum up my impressions with it, I've using it for over a week now on uh, various scenarios. I really love the fit and finish of it, the simplicity of using it, the versatility of taking uh, a lot of video, a lot of actually uh, pretty decent quality video. And if your purpose is spotting wildlife, you're going to have a lot of fun because this thing is just going to light up your backyard. Or if you're out camping, 